Okay, so these honestly were a pretty big surprise. Say Shonagon and Murasaki Shikabu getting a buff. But I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense because like literally every welfare besides these two before Karen have at least gotten one buff. Is that I don't think needs a buff. Opus Johanna, I kind of don't think needs a buff. Say definitely needed a buff, but Murasaki. Oh, wait, no, Murasaki. I'm pretty sure is already you got a buff, right? Nope, this is our first one. This is our first one too. Um, but Mur to me, Murasaki was like good how she was. I didn't even think she needed a buff. But here we are. So let's get started with Say Shonagon. Despite how much I don't like her gameplay, I do like her character because she's kind of like there's not that many like characters like her that like literally are like chaos incarnate like and not like chaotic evil i'm talking like actual chaos she'll come she comes in like a storm and like completely changes the story changes around her and uh then summer say like literally becomes haru suzumiya so yeah like if there's too many characters like this i wouldn't like her that much but good vibe and she kind of needed to be in caldea like it's suppressing you kind of need someone there to brighten up the mood face attack it's nice and high above 12k that's what we like to see on four uh five stars almost said four stars but yeah you don't like stay's problem is only partially damage and I say only partially because like her mods don't line up all the time. And like some of her high points are like based around her peaks. Yeah, it, it's good that she has this 12k here. Star rate, star gen. There are archer numbers. MP charge 0.57. Okay. So regardless of the buff, you if you've used Karen, you know what this refund feels like. You know what this refund feels like. Karen with a five hit MP was only getting like 30%. Her kit is, and her kit is based around draining your other two units to get her up to 50. If that is what someone with the same gain and a higher hit on her MP is just barely looping yeah say is definitely not black rail looping there there cannot she does not have enough refund to even think about trying to black rail loop not without like summer chloe if you want to push it that way you can but this number is crippling for a unit that does not have mp gain in their kit it shows with karen and it shows with say from what gameplay i have seen of her with this buff you have way more options don't get me wrong but this number in her MP account are, she can't be a looper. She, she literally doesn't have the game to be able to do it. She needs to be averaging 40 for MP. She'll be lucky if she can get that. Like if anything, her buff just makes using her with K-Scope a lot more consistent. Like just so much more consistent. But using super scope with a five star, yeah. All right, enough of that little tangent. Hit counts, quick cards good. Arts cards are okay. There, she's an archer, so she's supposed to be critting on them. That's kind of why the numbers line up the way they are. Like point one, uh, seven one, one point seven one, uh, for the effective gain of these arts card. Uh, five hit extra attack. It's not gonna be the best because again, low MP char MP gain, and then also low star gem because Archer. But I mean, at least she has decent hit counts. The Buster cards two hits, but we don't really care about Buster hit counts. It literally only matters for star gem, uh, unless you're in a might chain. All right, first skill: twenty percent attack for three turns. Party gauge up ten percent every turn for three turns, and HP heal for the party. Three turns at a thousand. Now, this skill isn't bad. 
I do like it when quick units get this. Because for them, this is effectively like 20% in comparison to an arts unit that would need, like, bring up Zenobia. He needs the 20% for a refund. Her kit is built around her getting that 20% back. The rats, uh, Daiko Kuten, they have a very similar skill, but they actually don't need this. It's really funny because they're a quick looper that actually doesn't need this because they loop so well. Um, but for Say, she genuinely needed this to be 20. If they weren't going to buff her MP gain, she needed this to be 20 for clean loops. Uh, as it stands right now, like this, it's just not enough. You, you have to add even more charge to your party. And at that point, you're going through so much extra steps. It's like, why not just use someone else? Okay, skill two is where she got her buff skill. It was three times, uh, three turns dodge. And I think this is like one of the best versions of it. The only thing that would have made it better is if this part went away and it was just three attacks, period. But we can't have nice things. I also gave 30% uh, crit damage for three attacks, three turns. Also, yeah, this is a bit of a yikes. So the buff didn't change anything for the dodge. It made the three turn crit damage consistent. And they gave her a 30 battery. Again, technically speaking, this does allow her to start from zero. But should you do that? No. Again, the refund is just not going to be there. But this does make it so if you start her at 50, she should. Cons I don't want to say she should consistently be doing it, but if you use like Traces of Christmas or Mag uh, Magical Girl Sapphire, like your looping should be far, far better. Like she needs the MP gain so much using CEs or uh, like Lady. Using CEs like that, that just give like raw MP gain and the 50% start, it's kind of what she needs. Otherwise, her damage is just not going to be there. Or no, not her damage, her refund. You're going to like, you're going to be stopping short too much and Oberon isn't going to become an option. He's going to become a requirement. Otherwise, like, because you cannot be relying on, say, hitting her refund numbers. Maybe with Triple Scotty. Um, I'm just double checking this sheet because this is like this is not all the setups, but this is the basic ones, like the most common ones. Yeah, it's not it's not taking summer clothing into account. Um, yeah, she she's not here. All right, back to the review. Third skill, 30% quick up, 20% battery, and 10 stars. This 20 battery was so fucking awkward when she came out. Like, you literally, like, it literally said, okay, yeah, you have to start with K-Scope. And it's like, fuck. Like, right, it was like right before, ah, uh, shit, when did say come out? Yeah, Karen was like, last year. Was I playing? Yeah, no, no, no. I was playing when uh, say came out. Uh, and it's like, the quick meta is like literally about to end and you just release another K-Scope quick unit. The, and this one specifically because of the 20 wanted you to pop this as soon as possible. It's like, come on, dude. 10 stars is nice quick units without Ruler Scotty kind of have a very short or sorry, not short, a uh, very slow start. Like, we're, like, if they're not critting, they're not going to be doing damage. So they need some kind of stars to be able to at least start doing damage. Her not having a, bu a double buster, double quick deck is a problem for that. Because you're not going to run double ruler. But you can still run, like, one. At least one. But that is more catered to, like, challenge quests or uh, when she's the only one doing damage. Like a non-standard way of farming, like maybe a 90 plus. I'm, I'm not sure. Passive skills, 15% debuff resistance. Star weight on quick cards, 10%. Crit damage on quick cards, 
and 100% charm debuff resistance. Now, this does not mean she can never be charmed. It is possible, but the chance has to be well over 100%. And if you get any kind of, like, if you're going up against Kama and she pops the charm res down, there is a chance that that will be enough to, like, charm say. But again, for that, it's going to be really hard. And just for an example, I just want to see uh, the numbers from Kama's res down, charm res down on her third skill. 40%. Yeah. So... you it's possible but you'd have like a 30 percent chance of actually landing the charm it, it would not it would not be good you shouldn't even try to bank on it 10 skills get mana loading you need the options you need as much charge as possible uh again if you're starting at 50 i mean you can save the, your batteries more efficiently like kind of can but again refund is her biggest concern like like i feel like she would be better as a crit servant but she doesn't have that much crit in her own kit like she has something and rule and scotty like definitely gives crit damage to quick units but There, there's just a lack of offense in this kit uh, for me to fully say, oh yeah, don't worry about her farming, only care about her as a crit servant. Like, there's not that much there. Uh, if you are going the crit servant route, extra attack, it's going to make the, make the power mods work even better. Plays very well with her high base attack. Uh... It will clean up this extra attack too. It is five hits and these game, like these numbers aren't the highest. So it should just clean it up. And anti alter ego, not a bad one to have. As a knight class, it's not a bad one to have because they do less damage to you. You do neutral, but now you do let more, a little more than neutral. Um, I wouldn't say pick this over mana loading, but it, can be considered over extra attack. It really just depends on what you use safe for. Okay. Her MP. Now the like the visual for MP has been mean so much. I see all the images of like all the characters with um doing the say pose. And she pro like in in all honesty, she probably like just bum rushed them and got them to do it like in Caldea, like I can, I can definitely see her trying to get servants in Caldea to just do her MP animation dance with her or not dance, but just the MP animation with her, especially, especially Murasaki. That woman probably suffered so much trauma doing that. Uh, anyway, four power, three power mods four hit AOE quick. You hear four hit AOE quick and you're like, oh fuck. Yeah, no, this this unit's not refunding and you'd be very right this is like bad i shit on achilles for his refund uh he's in the same situation he has like 0.57 gain and he has a five hit mp and he still has refund issues and he actually has mp gain in his kit but it's not that good mp gain it only lasts for a turn how the fuck is say say supposed to like close that gap she can't you have to brute force so much charge into this unit it is beyond what i would deem acceptable for like how much effort i have to go to and the other thing is she has wide reaching mods but it's so rare that these are actually gonna line up it is ridiculously rare so power mod against servant enemies with neutral alignment power mod against servant shadow servants and then power mod against mana attribute now the mana attribute is probably the best one because this one also scales with overcharge and mana attribute is probably the most common 
one of these mods that will actually matter shadow servants at a time in the game the newer you are to the game the more this actually has meaning because in law in the lost belt sagas you don't see shadow servants they don't show up that often so not only do you need saber shadow servants but when are you gonna see them like the lower nodes in a lot and the lower nodes in an event you don't spend that much time on that you're not gonna want to spend all your ap on low nodes that actually would have shadow servants it'd be just beyond overkill and if you're not looping either holy shit, that's gonna feel terrible now neutral and man attribute these can line up so all these servants and all these servants you'll at least have a power mod against but finding the overlap is going to be a lot harder you like you kind of have to be going with like one unit at a time but we kind of can start going through this uh so as soon as the first one that pops up uh saber oh my god okay so suna is the only saber he can actually get this combo on yeah and granted the whole thing about say isn't that she has the most crazy mods that just stack up and she does unga booga da damage no that's super that's summer castoria that's summer castoria say has just a wide reaching net of niches and like if they overlap cool but at best you're like dealing with 50 percent power mod i gotta find out how to put this in dark mode because my eyes are actually bleeding they're burning all right so base mp damage not too high he gets one trait oh that's a shark he has one trait she jumps up to 32. That's 32 is like a good MP number. 32,000 is a good, uh, just like there we go with sky attribute demonic. It's in the range for like most other units. If she gets two, jumps up to 43,000. Again, this is like starting to hit single target numbers. And then if you manage to get all three, you actually are doing single target numbers. But again, they have to be neutral, man attribute, and a shadow servant. Basically, have to be a shadow servant of Suna. And that is full effective damage. No other unit. Really annoying, but it is what it is, man. The man attribute is really the one that you honestly care the most about. Like, let's be real is the most widely applicable one. Mats, not the worst. Yeah, there, you don't need too much gold and you don't need like 72 of a single mat on the skills. And you don't need it for the pens either. So at the very least, if you pick up, say, Shonagon, it's not going to be that painful level. It, it might take you like a little while, but you're not in the trenches looking for 72 bones her skill thank god because i could not do that the unit i don't like and the bias is definitely gonna show there i'm sure there are a lot of people that actually like this servant and the gameplay but for me personally this is this is the epitome of why people don't like me i feel that say shonagon if she is like your introductory introductory quick servant no What the fuck is this? I'm gonna have to see this after this recording. There's no fucking way NA got another Oberon banner already. Oh my god. I'm keeping this in the recording. Uh 
yeah in general whether you want say or not i mean she she got a buff if you have her you're eating pretty but i i don't think if you don't have her you should summon for her all right i'll see you guys in the next one i need to see what the fuck this oberon thing is peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace